What is going on guys? My name is Michael and welcome back to another Rise Media tutorial. Need you to keep me close. What is up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be going over how to cut to the beat and I know this sounds super basic but the truth be told it is actually probably the most important step that nobody really thinks about but it's going to dictate the flow of the entire project based on where you do your cuts to the music. So for the sake of speeding things up I've already dragged in audio and video into my project file so we can get started right away. Alright so the first thing I always do is I'll work with audio first because it's literally going to dictate what I do with my video. The first thing I do is I drag my song into the source monitor and I basically pick out the best part of the song that I like. So I'm just going to scrub through and find a good point that we can work with. Alright, so I like that point. It's the first part of the drop, the most interesting, and I'm going to drag it down into my timeline. Now, if you guys don't know, I use the I and O uh, keyboard shortcuts to make the in and out points to make my selection. Then just drag the audio using this button down to the timeline. So I'm going to make this bigger because it's really hard to see right now, both the video and audio layers. And the first thing I noticed when I dragged this and played it is that it is way too loud. So come and so I need to bring that down. I'm gonna just do minus 15 in the effect controls. Just so that it is manageable to work with. Okay. So the reason I usually drag this layer to be bigger is because you can kind of see from the layer where the beat is gonna drop. But since this one isn't giving us much help, we're gonna have to do it kind of by ear. So the way I go about doing this is I select the layer, play the song, and then every time the beat drops, I press the keyboard shortcut M, and that's going to create a marker on the layer so that I know where the beat drops. So come on over, we can pass it. Okay, so the reason why I did that is because now I know every single point where the marker is is where the beat drops, and that's where I need to make my cut. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in these video clips. And now I'm going to kind of do this blind. I'm literally just going to put the clips based on where I made my markers. I don't even know what these clips look like, but we're just going to put it to the beat so you can kind of get a sense of what the markers are going to do. Now, just a heads up, you see how easy it is when I drag this over, drag the clip shorter, and see how the marker kind of glows when I put it to its point. Well, that's because I have this magnet selected. If I didn't have this magnet on, more or less, it wouldn't do that for me. And it makes it a lot easier to find the right point with the magnet on. So it can get annoying, the magnet, but I do like to keep it on for stuff like this, um, especially when I'm working with markers because it'll literally just point it out for you. And it's super, super easy. So that's just a quick little tip. Almost done here. All right, so again, I have no idea how this is gonna look, but this is more or less just cutting to the beat, so let's see how it looks. So come on over, we can pass it. All right, so that didn't even look that bad. Obviously, I didn't spend a lot of time with this. I kind of just took video clips and threw it to the beat really quickly. But what I will say is that I think it flows well because people expect cuts on the beat. Now, where you differentiate yourself is kind of making multiple cuts around the beat and everybody's gonna hear a song differently. So it's where you make those cuts that's gonna completely change the vibe of your video. Now, obviously, as you can see, I just did the most basic form of cutting to a song. I pretty much, like every cut is the same length away, right on the, right on the beat, you know, it's, it's pretty basic. So if we were to, kind of jazz this up a bit and do it a little bit more complex. I'll show you what that looks like right now. So you're going to want to click on your uh, layer, come up here, and 
kind of right click on a marker so you can clear all markers and have a fresh layer to work with. And now I'm going to go through this again, but do a little bit different with the marking so that I can show you guys how somebody else may take this in a more complex way. And it literally changes the video entirely. So I'm going to show you that right now. So come on over, we can So what I did there is I did two basic cuts and then I did a little bit faster and then two basic cuts again and then a little bit faster again. This is what I like to do. This is a pretty common theme for me um, to space them out like this. So I'm just going to match the video clips to what I just did on this cut, my take on it, and we'll see how much different the video looks as a result. So that looks pretty good. Let's just see how this rolls with my quicker cut. And now they're, you know, as you can see, they're different lengths now. We have, you know, pretty similar here, but then when it gets a little bit quicker, it's going to change the entire vibe of the video. So let's see what that looks like. So come on over, we can So we even had like a little bit cool motion right in here. It looked like it rocked up and down, which worked which worked pretty nicely, I think. I actually I actually kind of like that. But guys, it's just a different way of looking at things. Everybody's going to cut the song in a different way, and that's really what, you know, creatively is going to differentiate you from somebody else, and I think that's what the magic is about editing, is that nobody is going to see it the same way, and everybody's going to have their own take on it. I'm going to do one more really quick, just for shits and giggles, to see how it looks. Just try to change things up and i do this a lot guys like you're gonna probably just set markers you know roll your clips over and you're not really gonna feel it you're not gonna feel the vibe that it's given off and you're gonna change it multiple times which is totally cool because playing around with this stuff is the only way you're gonna finally find the way that works for you so i'm gonna do this again a third time and see how much different it looks so come on over, we can All right, so I made a little bit more cuts. I don't really have enough video, but I'm gonna try to make this work. So come on over, we can pass now, to be honest with you, I didn't really like that as much as the second one. I felt like the cuts were kind of unexpected and so I didn't really like it. So that's fine. And you're going to have that all the time, which is a really good example. I'm glad I did this. So, you know, just come up here, clear markers and start again. But guys, keep working on it. Do a ton of different um, edits to it and you're finally going to find your vibe. And that's really how you have to do it. It's a guess and check game and you're gonna it's going to take hours. But that's the only way you're going to find your vibe, find your video and find the best way for you. So thank you guys so much for checking in. Again, we have tutorials coming out on Thursdays and Saturdays, so continue to look out for that, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.